What is up, baseball fans? Chris Jardine here, director of live content services for Out of the Park Baseball. Back! It's Thursday. It's 9 p.m. Eastern Time. It is a brand new episode of This Week at Perfect Team. It is episode number 131. It is August 26th, 2021. It is, uh, yeah. It's a beautiful day. Lots of things happening. I just had a big bad thunderstorm uh, roll through here for the last couple hours. Uh, but it has passed. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. Good to go. Kind of fun things are happening. A uh, few note noteworthy things here to talk about first. Um, the Perfect Team Championship Series Fall Events Registration will go live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday. The link to the sign-up pages will be posted on Twitter, Discord, and forums at that time. So 1 p.m. Eastern Time uh, on Saturday. Uh, remember, the fall formats are... Open, gold 1750 cap, silver. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in playing in uh, the qualifiers for either of those, again, the signups will be on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time is when the signups go live. Uh, and uh, yeah. I think the first qualifier is tentatively scheduled for the 17th of September. 18th of September? Somewhere in that vicinity. Probably that Saturday. I'm assuming it would be on a Saturday like all the rest of them. Uh, that being said, our PTCS uh, summer events were last weekend. They were great. Dishnet did an absolutely amazing job, as he always does. Um, congratulations to everybody who participated in that. Congratulations to the winners. I know Nicolino has reached out to, I think, all three of the winners, uh, to get their mailing information for the belt. And I'll be working with them come the winter time on their content set. And it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Time in Moscow, uh, probably like 3 p.m.? 4 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Um, also, there is a new patch out that was supposed to fix three things in Perfect Team. It has fixed two, and the other one is still a problem. Um, so the team had thought they had narrowed down the issue with people who were experiencing packs where the card was missing. Uh, they thought they had figured out what the issue was there, so that was included. Unfortunately, we have seen a few... Um, a few reports that it's not working as intended. Um, so we're going to go back to the drawing board. I've already passed it on to the team. They're looking at it now. Uh, the other thing was, there was two other things that are more, um, game related and mechanic related. So the first of those is we have changed the period of time where you can edit your stadium factors in perfect team now the reason for this is that people were exploiting it in the first 10 days of the season um, where you could edit your stadiums when they had a stretch of home games they would change their factors for every game uh, and then craft a lineup to work with those factors and keep opposing teams off guard so the window for you to edit your stadium is from the time you are eliminated on sunday so it should open up the first simulation after you're eliminated until the first simulation on Monday. So when the new season starts, the new Monday starts, um, that's when the stadiums will lock. So, and the other change, um, the other change is around uh, auction times. Now the we have increased the minimum auction time to 60 minutes. That means no more 15-minute auctions, no more 30-minute auctions, no more custom auction lengths that are under um, 60 minutes. 60 minutes is now the minimum auction time. Now, what's really important to note is that on Monday, Monday morning, we are going to be pushing a server update live 
which will make this patch mandatory to continue to play perfect team. So please update your clients. If you're on Steam, it should have already automatically updated. If you're um, if you're a web store client, you can find the link on our forums, on uh, Twitter, in the Discord. Go download it. Make sure you're using Build72. Um, Build72 is the one you need to be using starting on Monday, or you are going to get a message saying you cannot access Perfect Team because your build is out of date. So there you go. There you go. Uh, yes, the next live card update is Monday. It's the last Monday of the month. So there you go. It might be on Facebook. I don't know. I don't. Ma I don't uh, manage the Facebook anymore. That's a that's a rich rich thing. Rich thing. Also, side note, I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I got. Uh, a couple cards. I don't know if you guys are aware. I know Spore. I seen Spore in the chat, so I know he knows. Uh, if you guys haven't seen uh, Tops Project Seventy cards before, um, they are. Uh, custom art they're a group of artists that they got to make them i've picked a couple of them up and uh they are pretty great so i want to show them off here on the stream just to give you guys a look so this is the vladimir guerrero that i got uh i know it's hard to pick up on the stream but you can see look at the the jersey right with the vlad in it and then the toronto in the backdrop come on focus uh, it also uh, says Vlad Guerrero Jr. inside of his helmet. And it is the 1990 uh, Tops uh, uh, border and stuff. So super retro. Um, so that's really cool. The other one, if you're a retro video gamer, this will look familiar to you in a hurry. This is the Tops 2021 All-Stars in the Super Nintendo Super Mario All-Stars uh, uh, box art. This is the one that got me into buying them. And then uh, I bought the Vlad Guerrero. The Vlad Guerrero was on at the exact same time. So I was like, I might as well buy the Vlad too. Because, I mean, you know, I'm a Jays fan. I love Vlad. So, And I really love the, uh, the artwork. This one, the Vlad one is uh, designed by Lauren Taylor, who is Canadian. She's from Vancouver. And this one here is done by an artist known as Ermzy. This is great. This right here is the is now the best baseball card I own. Hands down, bar none. Uh, and now I'm completely addicted to top 70. I've got like three more of them coming. So it's not great. I have an addiction. It's a problem. But yeah, the Super Mario All-Stars one is absolutely fantastic. Where is Opeachy these days? I, you know what? I bet you... If I had two minutes, if I knew where my box of cards was, I guarantee I have an Opichi Pavel Bure card from like 95. Uh, Zozu, they're, uh, they're called Project 70. Um, yeah, they're called Project 70. I gotta find my box should be right here somewhere. I might have taken it upstairs. Hmm. Where did I put it? I had it out recently because I was looking for something. And then what did I do with it is the million dollar question, chat. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Just over here behind the scenes. Over here in Snaggle J Palace. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it is. That's something for next week, I guess. But I do have... Uh, I do have some old OPG hockey cards. Uh, it's on this side. This side. 
I know I have some old OPG hockey cards hanging around here somewhere, so um, we'll uh, we'll get those for another time. But I know for sure I have a uh, mid '90s OPG Pavel Bure. I have a couple Pavel Bures actually. I was a big Pavel Bure fan. Um, huge Pavel Bure fan. So I have a I have a few Pavel Bure cards for sure. I have a lot of um, I have a lot of hockey cards. Um, from the like early mid nineties, that was like the heyday of my collecting. So all the stuff that I still have that's in plastic, um, is from like the, is mostly hockey and mostly early nineties. I think I've mentioned this on stream. One of my favorite hockey cards, you guys might remember this. This was a, like a early nineties. I think it was Fleer when they did the goalie masks and it was literally just a black background with like the goalie mask on it. Um, I have a Patrick Waugh, um, one of those. Um, so anyway, completely off the rails. So now let's move on to why we're actually here, uh, which is content and cards. Now I want to talk a little bit about tonight's set because I mentioned that it was an interesting story and how it came about. And I, I kind of want to, for those of you who might be relatively new or like, you know, Perfect Team 22 is the first one that you've played. Sometimes I like to give a little peek behind the curtain um, and just kind of like, you know, talk about what goes into a set. So for me, when I plan in content, I usually start planning content in like August. So like, for example, I've already started planning Perfect Team 23 content and some putting some ideas together and kind of putting names to certain areas. And, and usually that's where I start. I usually start like once I have what I call the pillars of the set. So, for example, this year, obviously, big pillar, Franchise Heroes, right? Duh. I think everybody knows that at this point. And, um, you know, so uh, once I get, like, my pillars, so, like, for example, Franchise Heroes is one, and then, you know, all the, the subcategories of it, and then I start putting names with the different things, and I know who my FH3 is going to be, and then my two, and then my one, and then I fill in the blanks. At a certain point, we start considering... I start considering, you know, what I'm going to do on the weekly content sets. And a lot of times, you know, I mean, anyone who's watched any of the first 130 episodes of the show, you guys know, like, you know, we like to have different themes and different things happening. And, and, you know, sometimes it's, it, it's dead ball cards and other times it's trade deadline and other times it's whatever. And the, but there's always these odd kind of weeks in between where we really don't have anything that's happening. There's no real event to tie it to, you know, uh, and after doing 130 content releases over the last, you know, um, two and a half years and the half of them being, you know, cards, more than half of them being cards, I'm always trying to think of like new ideas and stuff. So something that I always wanted to do was I wanted to release a lineup of content. Like literally, like build a one through nine, all the positions, DH, some pitchers, some relievers. It was something that we've never done, you know, and that way every position gets some love. Uh, you know, we get some new pitchers, we get some new bullpen guys, you know, and, and, but I wanted to do it in a way where like I had to structure it in like a lineup, like not just like nine power guys or nine contact guys or like, you know, nine guys that strike out a ton, right? I wanted to actually build like a lineup with some different guys and kind of put some actual thought into it. So that's where tonight's set came from, in case you guys are wondering. Um, to give you guys a little bit of inside the mind of the content guy, that's it. I wouldn't say you get the best cards in the world. There's a little bit of everything tonight. We got a, I think there's there's at least one silver that's going to be amazing meta silver. I think uh, there's a really good gold in there. At least one really good gold. We do have some really nice upper tier cards as well. We've got some interesting diamonds. We got a little bit of everything tonight. Uh, the limited edition card, not technically part of my lineup, but could be my fourth starter. So let's start it off. Um, with the limited edition card who is going to slot in as my number four. So I, you know what? That's great. So 
looking at my starting staff, because in the actual release, there's three starters, uh, two righties and a lefty. The limited edition is a lefty, so that balances out a little bit. Absolutely everybody's favorite face of the franchise card from last year. 100%, no doubt, guaranteed, done deal. The best face of the franchise card from last year. Of course, I'm talking about the main man himself. Chucky Finns is the limited edition card this week. You guys knew it was coming. Why isn't this working? What side is this on? Oh, it's because I'm on this side. I jumped it. You guys knew I was going to squeeze a chuck. Hey, here's the thing. Look on the bright side. At least now, it doesn't make sense for Chuck Finley to be the Angels' third franchise hero. Right? So, so there you go. There you go. Getting Chucky Finns out the door. See, it's all about the mind games, right? It's all about the mind games with the Chucky Finns. Chucky Finns, my fourth starter in the set. Not intentional because the limited edition schedule was done forever ago. That's true. Not peak. Could still be maybe an epic troll. Could be a massively epic troll. Okay. Let's get into my lineup of content. We're already 17 minutes into the show, and I've got 14 great cards to show off tonight. I can't wait. So let's start where it matters. Who's on the bump? One game playoff. Who are we going to? Who is going to be my horse? You know, I had a... Now, what you guys got to understand, right, is when I pick these sets, you know, when I get into the content sets... There's a lot of cards to pick from. We always end up with like 2,200 cards left over just in case. Gives us options. Gives us flexibility. Um, but I was like, you know what? I, I, I wanted to pick a guy. I'm like, I, I need a guy in a situation. And then I started thinking, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to space it out. You know, I want some old guys. I want some new guys. I want some, you know middle tier guys some 60s and 70s guys and i was thinking what's one of the best starting pitching seasons that you have seen in the last 20 years like if you really start thinking about one of the best single season pitching performances that you've seen in the last 20 years where does your mind immediately go it goes a lot of places. But where my mind goes is 2017 Corey Kluber. Because again, 18 and 4, 225 ERA, lead the league. Five complete games, leads the league. Three shutouts, leads the league. 202 ERA plus, leads the league. 869 whip, leads the league. 6.2 hits per nine, leads the league. 1.6 walks per nine leads the league. One of the most underrated seasons in this millennium. You don't hear people talk enough about Corey Kluber's 2017. So Corey Kluber is my ace. Now, we got the sinker baller, hard thrower, ace guy. Let's go to the number two guy. Now, we want to change it up a little bit, right? We want to change it up. We want something a little different. You know, we want to maybe ease back on the stuff, go a little bit different. So, coming out second, we've got 1985 Rick Reuschel checking in at the 98. Oh, we didn't go over Kluber's ratings, by the way. 104, 88, 96. 101, 87, 96 against lefties. 107, 90, 97 against righties. Boom. We're on to Reuschel now. We're back. 78, 96, 89. So, again, Lots of movement, lots of movement. Got to keep the ball on the ground. Kluber's going to keep the ball on the ground. Now, that was probably a bad move because as you will see later, my defense kind of sucks. But, but, we're not letting that deter us as we have Royal Again, stronger against the righties, 81-97-90 against the righties. 74-94-88 uh, against the lefties. So, solid. Now, again, 
Where do you go from there? I told you that we had a lefty. Now, we got Kluber, we got Royschel. Now, where do we go with the lefty? Now, I wanted to go, like, really puss baller. Like, we want something completely different. So, for the lefty, I'm into this. I don't know if you guys could tell. I don't know if my energy translates that well through the camera, but I am I am really into this tonight. I'm having, I'm into this. This is a good time. This is a good time. I'm having, I'm having fun with this. So our third starter is 94 peak Mark Burley. Because again, after her throwing Kluber and movement man Royschel, why not Russell? Sorry. Why not go to Mark Burley? I mean, it makes sense. Crafty lefty, great control, low diamond, 92 control, 96 against lefties, 91 against righties. Again, I feel like Kluber, Russell, Burley, Finley, we're off to a pretty good start. I think we're off to a pretty good start so far. We're off to pretty good. Now let's go to the bullpen. We got a couple guys in the bullpen. Couple guys in the bullpen. First up, we got a lefty. And of course, we got my main man, Sean Doolittle. 2018 historical all-star Sean Doolittle. Checking in at 94 diamond. Lots of stuff. Lots of control. 117 stuff, 71 movement, 87 control. Fastball, curveball on the old uh on the old uh, pitch selection, 115, 73, 90 against lefties. Uh, 118, 71, 86 against the righties. Doolittle. So again, you know, we got, we got we got some we got options. We got options, right? We got options. That's right, New Mariner. So obviously he's going to be completely terrible now. Poor Mariners fan. It's a rough go. Rough go. Then, let's go to the right side of the bullpen. Now, you cannot have a bullpen without epic facial hair. Do a little with the beard. And then, I mean, my main man, Rod Beck. Again, how do you not... Just, just Rod Beck with the mullet and the mustache. That alone. The ratings don't matter. It's just... Mustache and mullet. Rod Beck. That's all you need. That's all you need. Upper 90s. 122 stuff, 82 movement, 91 control. Stronger against the righties. 131, 84, 91 against the righties. Sinker, slider, splitter. Rod Beck. Rod Beck. So there you go. So, pitching, okay? Listen, pitching pretty good, right? Kluber. Russell, Burley, Finley, Beck, Doolittle. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So now let's flip it over onto the offense. Let's start with the leadoff man. Is there really any other option for the leadoff man? Is there anybody else we could potentially pick? There really isn't. If you're trying to build a squad, you're going to go lead off. You got to just go to the GOAT. Why not go to the GOAT? Who else is there? You got to go to the GOAT, the greatest leadoff hitter of all time, the man of steel, Ricky Henderson. 100 perfect Ricky Henderson. I mean, where else do you go? He's the all-time leader in runs scored, which obviously we're going to need because our pitchers and our defense leaves a little something to be desired. But all-time major league leader in runs scored and stolen bases still. Stolen bases will never be eclipsed. Let's just forget that that's ever going to even be a record. He's just never going to be, he's never going to get caught. No one's stealing 1,400 bags ever again. It's not going to happen. 93 contact, 86 gap power, 79 power, 100 I, 82 avoid Ks. Stronger against the lefties, 
103, 191, 106, 86, which again will be of interest because left field, as we know, left field in terms, in PT terms, little thin, especially with guys who can hit lefties. We got Yastrzemski out there uh, a couple weeks ago, hits the righties. Ricky hits the lefties. What else does Ricky do? He steals. 111 speed, 106 stealing, 89 base running. Uh, and some pretty solid defense as well. Ricky's defense at his peak, very underrated. Uh, 89 range, 90 air, 60 air. I mean, he always had a bit of a noodle arm. Was Ricky was arm was not Ricky's jam, right? Earlier on in his career, played a lot of center. Uh, got ended up get ended up getting moved to left when he went back to Oakland for the second time. But what better? What better place to start your lineup in the leadoff spot? than with Ricky Henderson. Now, this is where, to me, as a manager, now, I, I I mean, I coach kids in real life, so, you know, but I have, try to have a manager brain. Number two, key spot. Ricky's going to get on base a lot. He's going to walk a lot. He's going to steal a lot. So you need a guy that's going to put the ball in play. And with Ricky being stronger against the lefties, maybe you want to go with somebody who's going to be a little stronger against the righties. So the top two in your order, you got guys that get on base. You got guys that can hit both arms creatively you also want to shore up that outfield defense a little bit so we got center field so our number two hitter center fielder from the philadelphia phillies richie ashburn peak richie ashburn uh 94 contact 93 gap power 42 power 98 i and 100 avoid k's 85 79 45 93 85 against lefties uh 96 98 42 100 and 105 against the righties so again does does the job does the job and you got the great defense in center field the 100 range 87 air 82 arm you'll love it you'll love it you'll love to see it so i mean we're off to a hot start right we're off to a hot start we got ricky we got Richie. Ricky and Richie are just going to light it up. We're going to have so many people on base that it really doesn't matter who bats three through nine. It's going to be RBI central. But let's go to our number three hitter. Again, number three, we're going to want a power guy. We're going to have a lot of runners on third base. We want to pick up some sack flies. So our number three hitter is Jim Bottomley. We're going way back for the number three hitter, and we're getting another Cardinal. You know I love my Cardinals. Let's get a little bit of a horn out there for all my St. Louis Cardinals fans in the chat. Jim Bottomley. Again, stronger against the righties. 98, 106, 99, 72, 97. Overall, he's 95, 101, 170, 92. Uh, you get the 84, 85, 103, 64, 77 against the lefties. Jim Bottomley, right? So we got Ricky in the leadoff. We got Richie Ashburn in the two. And we got Bottomley. That, to me, sounds like runs. That's runs. That's R-U-N-S. R-U-N-S. Runs. Runs. That's important. That's important. Got to have the runs. So, next up, we're going to our cleanup hitter. It is 1930 98 Diamond Babe Herman, who is our designated hitter. I know he's a right fielder, but for the purposes of our lineup, he's our DH. So, we got our DH batting in the four hole. So, we're going Henderson, uh, Ashburn, Bottomley, and now Babe Herman. Again, Strong against the righties. Not too bad against the lefties either. 89, 81, 84, 61, 71 against the lefties. Uh, 98, 92, 98, 68, 78 against righties. So solid. Solid. He's our DH. So solid. Solid little card here. Got a little bit of speed too, right? 58. So we're, we're getting to the middle of the lineup. We got a guy who can still put the ball in play. Pick up them runs. Steal the base maybe. Maybe, maybe steal a bag if we need him to, right? So, now, we're going interesting here next. 
I was thinking, you know what? Listen, we're, we're going to try to cut as many corners as we can. So I need a guy. I need a two-way guy. I need a two-way guy. I need a guy that can hit, can play the field, and if in a pinch, if my six pitchers don't get it done, we need to have that seventh option. Now, obviously, not ideal, but we can stick Babe in right field if we need to. We can stick the Babe in right field. So... Our starting right fielder and also alternate pitcher, GVH, George Van Houtren in the building. Peak 99 diamond, George Van Houtren. 90 contact, 85 gap power, 76 power, 75 eye, 97 avoid case. 81, 79, 71, 69, 90 against lefties. 93, 87, 78, 76, 99 against raising. Now, I know what you're saying. Why aren't you hitting him in the cleanup? Probably a better V right bat than Bay, but with the avoid Ks being high, balls in play, average is going to be higher. So I'm segmenting my lineup. I'm going Henderson, Ashburn, Bottomley, Herman, and then I'm kind of resetting it with Van Heltren. More higher on base guy. Gives us a little bit more OBP in the second half of the order. 69 speed, some solid right field defense. Not great, but good enough. Especially when we have Ricky and Ashburn who are going to cover, you know, Ashburn and Henderson are going to cover nine tenths of the outfield. The other tenth is covered by GVH. Uh, 77 range, 72 air, 83 arm. I know you guys, that might be hard to read up there. Um, 82 stuff, 55 movement, 65 control, 95, 59, uh, 65 against lefties. So again, an 86 stamina. So we're playing, we're, we're doing things here. Now I forget my order from here on out. So I'm going to look it up real quick just to make sure. I think we have our steady third base bat next so want to go third base so we're going with travis fryman an all-around average player does doesn't do anything great but does a lot of things very well 92 diamond travis fryman again 82 contact 83 gap power 73 power 66 i 66 void case it's 84 76 75 78 68 against lefties 81 85 72 63 66 against righties so again Okay bat, puts the ball in play, doesn't hit for a lot of power. I'm going to hit some doubles. Good defense, not great defense, good defense. Also has a little bit of sprinks in there. Can be a little bit of a backup shortstop if we need to. We can move him around a little bit. So again, we've got we got some, we got on base guys, we got big bats. Now we're going we got we got we need a steady Eddie, right? We need a steady Eddie in there with Travis Ryan. So there you go. So, so that's where we're up to. We're going to recap the whole lineup at the bottom, by the way. Now, the theme, common theme at the bottom of my order is contact hitters, is what I ended up with, which is fine. We're a hitting team. Contact hitters of plenty. So let's start it out with my main man, our starting shortstop and backup second baseman, Jack Glasscock. Peak, shortstop, perfect, Jackie. Woo, baby. 91 contact, 95 gap power, 66 power, 60 I, 105 avoid Ks. 94, 98, 68, 62, 106 against lefties. Uh, 91, 94, ni uh, 65, 60, 104 against righties. And you got the great speed, 96, 106 stealing. And again, really good at shortstop, 94 range, 81 air, 90 arm, 96 turn to play. And again, flexibility. Can play him at second, can play him at both up the middles. I don't really have anyone else to play third base, so I don't have the, any bench. But if I had a great third base bench guy, you know, I could move Fryman to short, move Glasscock to second. Got a little bit of flexibility. Uh, what team is he under? I don't know. Why are you asking me such questions? I, I, I don't know. I can tell you, though. Give me a sec. Uh, Giants. He's under the Giants. 
He just falls under that late 1800s where we don't have a Giants logo. He's a, he's a New York Giants, though. He's a New York Giants guy. Um, but he's in that late 1800s bracket where we don't have the uh, we don't have a we don't have a Giants logo. Okay, so now let's move to the okay. Now this now this is these last two. If you're lower tier tournament guys, these last two perk up, perk up, listen up, because we're going to gold and silver meta town right now. One of we it's this guy's name who never gets mentioned was actually mentioned in the discord earlier today. We were having a pirates conversation about some of the greatest pirates of all time. And somebody just randomly said Manny Sangian, who is, who has been in previous versions of perfect team, a perfect team, darling, 82 gold Manny Sangian is our starting catcher. We're sacrificing. We don't care about the defense. We're all in on the hitting at the bottom of the order with Manny Sangian. 85 contact, 66 uh, gap power, 55 power, 40 I, 87 avoid Ks. 96, 67, 64, 34, 101 against lefties. 82, 65, 52, 42, 82 against righties. Catcher catcher Manny Sangian low gold too so flexibility abound for us he does the great job of not striking out at the bottom of the order what he so he does the great job of not striking out at the bottom of the order which is wonderful which is what we which is what we love to see which is what we love to see. We don't want guys striking out at the bottom of the order. We do not want guys striking out at the bottom of the order. That's bad. It's very bad. We don't want that. We want guys putting the ball in play, making things happen. That's our life. Lack of Mets. I don't think the last card's a Met either, so... Hmm. Hmm. Last but not least, we have one spot left to fill, and it is second base, and we're going to just random, just out of nowhere, 2019 Luis Arias. Because again, contact doesn't strike out. That's the theme of the bottom of our order. Luis Arias. 86 contact, 63 gap power, 19 power. 59i, 91 avoid case as a 78 silver. Uh, against the righties, you get the 89 contact and the 96 avoid case. So again, we're, we're we're going contact at the bottom, right? So here is a look at the entirety of our lineup. Again, we don't have Chuck Finley on here as a limited edition, but we have our pitchers: Kluber, Russell, Burley, Beck, Doolittle. And then our lineup, one through nine, we get Ricky Henderson batting leadoff, Richie Ashburn in the second spot, Jim Bottomley in the third, George, oh, I got the backwards. I made a last-minute change. I guess we're stuck with the lineup now. I'm going to have to forfeit because I put the wrong lineup out there. Um, but it's one of those things. Uh, we get GVH in the cleanup, Babe Herman in the five. They're interchangeable. Maybe I was overthinking it. Um, uh, we got Glasscock in the six, Sangin in the seven. See how look, I got them all backwards. I changed it all. Uh, Fryman and Arias, some really interesting fun. I know. See this. See Nicolino. You know, it's Nicolino's fault. Nicolino mentioned Mets, so I had to Mets it up and get a protest because I put the wrong lineup on the lineup card, and then hit my guys out of order. So see. Even though there's no Mets cards, the spirit of the Mets lives on through the errors that the stream has. So there we go. Team name? I don't know. Snaggles content dudes. Stream team. No, wait, that's Spore's name. Sorry. 
That's a really bad. I never thought of a name. I never thought of a name. Anyways, guys, all 14 of these cards, uh, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, yeah, there's 14, and then the limited edition will all be in packs uh, here at the top of the hour, so in about 20 minutes' time. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for coming by. Next week, we kick off the Franchise Heroes 3 program with the first uh, piece of of the mission puzzle so make sure you guys are here for that as we kick off the road to the end of the franchise heroes next week uh but again these great cards will be in packs along with chuck finley uh here in about 20 minutes time thank you guys so much for coming by if you guys are brand new to the stream make sure you guys hit that follow button down below if you're watching on your mobile device give it a tap hit that heart we love to have you. Make sure you follow us everywhere else as well. Twitter.com slash OTV Perfect Team. YouTube.com slash OTP Developments. Jump in the Discord. Discord.gg slash OOTP. Head over to the forums. Forums at OTP Developments.com as well. Guys, thank you guys so much. It was another fantastic Thursday night. I will try to find my Pavel Bure card for next week. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. So, guys, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, as always, I am Chris Jardine, Director of Live Content for Out of the Park Baseball. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences.